All right, so I have my October favorites. So let's get started. I do have a few new ones. So this is one that I picked up, I believe, last month, maybe this month at the beginning. But I have seriously not been able to put it down. I have been neglecting all of my other eyeshadows for this. All of these just super neutral colors. And so there's a bunch of shimmery colors and then a really good matte color and a matte dark color and a matte dark black brownie color. And then all these really pretty shimmery ones and just it's got everything you need is what I'm trying to say <laughs> this is just great and it was only $8.50 and I don't know why I've never been big into palettes but I'm kind of I think I'm a believer now but yeah NYX $8.50 champagne and caviar and it's from the runway collection you can totally still pick this up anywhere I have also been really really in love with this right here this is the first time I've ever worn dark nails. And I got this color a year ago, and I had been so afraid of it that I never But anyways, wore. so this is the Rimmel 60 Second Dry um, Nail Polish in hard, in hard Edge. This thing is so pretty. It, okay, it looks, you can tell kind of. It's got a, it's like a really dark maroon. It comes off kind of brown on your hands, but when you see it in the sunlight, it looks super pretty maroon, reddish. It's got gold reflex, greenish reflex. Just the most interesting color in the world. And the sun's kind of going down and the lighting here is not the best. So it's kind of only picking up a little bit of it. It's just seriously but. such a pretty color. And I just, I love it. I've been a huge fan and I'm so happy that I finally get to use this. And it dries in 60 seconds. So I don't have to look like a kindergartner did my nails. Then I've also been in love with the Maybelline Falsies, which is something that I know some of you might hate. But it works amazing for me, and it can go so wrong if you use the wrong angles. And to be honest, when I first got it, I had no idea which angle to use. But it's got this cool brush that like bends seriously in the center. See? See? And um, that makes it really clumpy. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But it's got this brush that's really wide with rubber bristles on the sides. But then when you turn it this way, one side's got a slight spoon and one side's got a little out dent or whatever. And it, if you don't use the right angle, because I kept trying to use the side sides to do it, ooh, it was horrible. I kept trying to do the other, it just wasn't working. And then I realized, oh, why don't you just try that like spoon side? Perfect. I've been in love ever since. Very wet formula. I just really like it. It gives me exactly what I want. And it also like has all those angles so you can get those outer lashes or any of those lashes. I'm really into the squiggly brushes for mascara. So love this and I don't really get it all over my eyes or anything unless I'm really like, I don't know, drunk when I'm doing it. I don't typically put my makeup on drunk. Don't worry. I'm not actually saying I do that. Mom, if you're watching, I don't. I swear. Then I've also been loving this Smashbox blush brush in flush. So. Last month I was wearing the one in Bare, and this month I decided to try this one out since it's been sitting in my makeup room and not getting any love since the day I bought it. I think I wore it like four times and then I just started with my NARS and I just kept going and I never went back and I finally did and I love it. I'm so glad I did. So I seriously, I wore Orgasm one time this month and I, I went ahead and put this over it because I love it so much. Then I've also been loving this bronzer and I've had it for a while but it's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer and it is just a really natural color on me but what I forgot is how like real tan it makes me look and also how amazing the ingredients were um I always look for well I have a a really long list of things I look for in ingredients I'm really picky about my ingredients I don't like toxic things toxic things I don't like I just don't like much. <laughs> so I want Safe Cosmetics, and this is about the safest bronzer I've ever found um, that looks good on me. You know, it still looks good, which is hard to come by. So it's got no talc, no parabens, no phthalates, no oil, no nothing that's bad, no bismuth oxychloride. It's amazing. And this is like, you can get this for $15 with a brush at Sephora. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And this is just travel size one. Their matte one is good too, but it does have bismuth oxychloride.
Thin. Okay. I know you probably heard this and you were like, blah, 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 liquid liners the same. No. Cutie Gingerbread talked about this and so did like some other people like 11th Gorgeous and they are so right, okay? If you want a felt tip liquid liner that doesn't drag on your eyes all weird and is not out of control, you need to pick up the Fabu Liner. The Fabu Liner. It's so good. Like, I seriously don't have to worry about being like, you know when you're awake, or when you're awake, you know when you're awake, you know when you're really tired in the morning and you just drink coffee and sometimes you feel like you are a scribbly, you know, like, yeah. This is so easy to control. I seriously, seriously rest it on my eyelashes and just go. And I don't, it's just so good. And you can make perfect wings. You can make it really thin or really thick. And you just, it's great. And it's such a wet formula. And it's just a felt tip. You know, typical felt tip liner. Love it. Best $1.99 I've ever spent. Because I am obsessed with liquid liner like obsessed and I have not found a good one I switched to gel liner and cream liner and I just my heart is with liquid nothing gives you that intensity like a liquid does and so I'm so happy to have found this because uh, I missed using my liquid liners but then I've also been in love with argon oil for under eyes because I've gotten this purple spot that keeps showing up and I wanted to conceal it, but every time I use under eye concealer, I always end up looking really old because it creases in, you know, my smile lines or whatever they are. And then they just stay and the makeup's all, you know, messed up. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, the Josemaran Argon Oil or Jojoba Seed Oil, one drop for both eyes underneath and I just pat it in, let it absorb a little, and then put the, the Benefit Stay Don't Stray, three dots, Blend it in. It's just enough coverage. I don't need that much though, so I can't say if it's really going to be the best coverage for everybody. I only have one purple spot. So, um, this has just been really, really great. And I can use a concealer over it if I want, and it prevents creasing, and the oil really prevents those dehydration lines from showing up ever anyways. And it's just really good. I love it. I've been obsessed with using oils for an under eye treatment. Like, honestly, don't waste your money on an expensive under eye treatment, put SPF on underneath there, and some oil, and you will be set to go. You will not have to worry about much. And I'll then, I've also been loving this Laura On Screen Duo in Champagne and Caviar. So, the top of it slides up, and you've got this really pretty um, champagne-y pink color. And then, and it's got like a hint of gold to it. It's a really pretty color for all over base color type deal. And then this, I have been wearing this every day for the past week on the outer part of my eye. And then I put a really um, matte brown over it that's not glimmery. And it nudes this out enough to where you can only tell that you have like a crease color but you can't tell where the crease ends or starts and stuff. So I love it. And it's a cream, by the way. So, and it goes on really sheer if you want, or you can make it really heavy. So that's what I'm wearing today with a bunch of purple stuff over it. <laughs> so I really, really like this. I actually highly recommend it. It's kind of got everything you need because you can also use that as a eyeliner. Pumpkin candles. Like, I love pumpkin pie candles more than anything. Like, nothing will make my day more than a pumpkin pie candle when I walk into the house. Um, or just, uh, I think it's I like it. my mom used to always burn pumpkin pie candles, like when they first came out. And so I just, I just always love it. That. So I think it reminds me of home. And fall always makes you kind of homesick, I think. Uh, this is just the best thing ever. Last but not least, though. My ultimate favorite for October is puppies in costumes. Dogs in costumes. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> yes, dogs in costumes lights yeah. up my life. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, my puppies in costumes. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs>